Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to Funko Pop Central. Today, we are doing another episode of Funko Pop Hunting. This is episode number five, and we have three awesome pops we're going to be bidding on today, so let's get right into it. So I've really been trying to save money, guys, because San Diego Comic-Con is right around the corner. And I only have, like, one paycheck in between then and now. So we do have to save some money. We aren't going to spend more than $150 on a single pop in today's episode. Last time we spent, I think, $250 or $60 on that Alien pop, which was awesome. Uh, if you guys didn't see that video, go check it out. But, yeah, that was a great episode. I can't afford to do that every single day, so we are going to scale back a little bit today, but we still do have some awesome pops. The first one is the Space Needle Freddy. It's an HQ exclusive, and I don't have any HQ exclusive, so I really want to add this one to the collection. And this is a cheap one. This one, at the most, will go for like 30 bucks, so that's really no problem. Really excited to try and bid on that one. The next one here, guys, is the Clark Kent Superman one. So when he's kind of like tearing his uh, work clothes off and changing into the Superman costume and everything like that. So that one's really cool. That one should only go for around, you know, 30, maybe 40 bucks. So that one's not that bad either. And it's a super cool one. I've been, I've had my eye on that one for ever so i really do want to add that one to the collection and then this one right now is super underpriced this cowardly lion and uh it's it's at 37 bucks right now i do have a flocked cowardly lion which i believe is a little more expensive but i do want to complete the whole wizard of oz set so i do need to grab that one at some point if i can grab it for a really cheap price that'd be awesome so i'm probably gonna bid only like 50 bucks on that one i don't expect to win that one at all but i thought it was worth putting in the video and then guys this is the this is the big guy for the episode it is the bank robber the bank robber joker and uh, he's sitting at 11250 right now with $5 shipping and this is the one i will bid $150 on um i don't know if i'll get it a lot of people are looking for this pop right now um, I don't know why, but I've seen a lot of sales for this pop. So we are going to try and get all four of those pops in today's episode. So let's get into it. All right, guys, so we got about 55 seconds left on the, uh, on the auction clock. So 50 seconds now, but it's going fast. Anyways, I did want to show you guys the Freddy Funko. I kind of like the box condition and everything. Uh, so it's pretty good condition. I mean, there's really not much to say about it. There's no big damage, uh, to the box. So it's all good there. And I also thought it was funny. Look at this right here. It says, uh, Funko Pop Space Needle Freddy Funko HQ Exclusive, and then it says Metallic, San Diego Comic Con, New York Comic Con, Emerald City Comic Con, Diamond Chase. So this guy's definitely trying to get some search results on this one, but also since there is $6 shipping, six seventy, it says right here, so uh, I'm only going to do 20 on this one just because I really don't want it any more than that. Like, I'm not going to spend 30 bucks on this one, so uh, we better go ahead and place the bid because there's only about six seconds left on it now. And I'll go ahead and click confirm there. I really don't expect to win this one. So um, we'll see what happens here. Um, okay, it looks like we actually did win maybe. Awesome. So first auction of the day is a win. That was much better than last episode where we lost like the first three auctions. So we are starting off strong. So the next one we have here, guys, is Clark Kent, the Hot Topic exclusive. I've been wanting to add this one to the collection for a long, long time. There's about a minute left on this auction. And honestly, I think I'm only going to go up to $21 on this one just because there is $375 shipping. He's worth $25 on Stashpedia. So I think $21 is a good bet. And unless someone else is, like, watching this right now, like, watching the auction go uh, to the end, I don't think, I don't, I don't know. This isn't, like, one of those pops that a lot of people will... Uh, pay a lot of money for so I think I'll be okay with $21 and if I don't win it it's really I mean it's fine I'll find one someday um, and I am going to like the fan expo and they usually have uh, pops like this there uh, the condition is pretty good I really don't have that much time to show you guys but I'll kind of pan through it a little bit there is a few creases on it but it's really nothing I'm too concerned about and let's see what else do we got here yeah that's pretty much it so we are gonna click place bid and wait until about Four, four seconds, maybe five seconds, and then we'll confirm that and see what happens. If there's someone else watching this right now, then we will lose because I bet they'll do it like 22. That usually happens, but I'm not really too worried about it if we don't get this one. So here we go. Place bid. Yeah, so someone else already bid it up a little bit, um, which is fine. Okay, so we are one for two. We did lose that one, but honestly, I'd rather have the Freddy. Yeah, I'd rather have the Freddy, so I'm not really too disappointed about it. And now let's move on to the two bigger grails of this episode. So guys, this Cowardly Lion is getting bid up pretty high now. It was at like 30 bucks, I think, when we started, and now it's at 56 So, uh, I don't know, guys. I'm, I might try and snipe this for like 57 oh one, just for good luck, the one penny. But, I, 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 I mean, we're not going to win this one. But, um, if we got for $57, i would be happy just because it's free shipping. I mean, it's... 
so many people are watching this, there's no way we'll win this one. But, I mean, it's worth a shot. There's there's no harm in trying. So, uh, we'll just go ahead and place this at four seconds. And let's see what happens. Yeah, so it's already at, like, 65 bucks. I am okay with not paying that much for it. I really, I already have a Cowardly Lion. I don't need this one. But it would have been nice to get for a cheap price. But I'm not going to pay Pop Price Guide or Stashpedia value for that pop. So, if I find it in the future for very cheap, I will buy it. But not for $65. So, now let's move on to the main pop of the video, and that is the Bank Robber Joker. Alright guys, so the auction has about two minutes left, and uh, between the last clip and this clip, I actually watched The Dark Knight again, and I'm talking really quiet because it's midnight right now, and all my family is sleeping, so I can't really be too loud, so I'll try and like turn up the audio when I'm editing the video so you guys can hear me. Um, but yeah, there's a minute 44 left on this auction, and I'm going to bid 150 on this guy. Because I really, really want him after watching The Dark Knight again. It's my favorite DC movie. And it's, I just love the Joker, the bank robber Joker. He's so, so cool. And uh, it's just it's just one of my favorite DC pops that they've ever made. So I really want to try and get this one. And uh, we can kind of look at the condition here. So let's see. It, it honestly looks really good. Um, there's maybe like a few creases. Like maybe, uh, let's see. Honestly, it looks pretty good. It's just mostly shelf wear. Which I'm okay with, guys, because these older pops, you're really not going to find them completely mint. Um, it's just not going to happen. So, overall, pretty good. This corner's good. So, yeah, we're going to bid 150 51 just for good luck, the extra dollar. And I said I wasn't going to bid more than 150 but after watching that movie, I, I really want this one. So, hopefully no one's up right now and no one's going to bid on this one, but... I don't know, guys. This is a pretty popular pop, and uh, a lot of people are probably after this one. So we'll kind of wait here for about 35 seconds um, and see if we can grab this one. But yeah, The Dark Knight is just such a great movie, and I, I just I don't know, guys. After watch, I don't know if you guys do this, but after I watch a movie that's like kind of old, I just want to buy all the pop old pops, even if they're like old. Like when I, I do that with Disney movies. Anyways, I'm kind of just trying to talk so that. I'm not just sitting here in silence for the next 10 seconds, but we got about 12, 11, I'm going to hit it at 4. <sighs> Hopefully we get this. 4 seconds left, confirm. Okay, highest bidder. Come on. Let's go, we got it guys. I am so happy. Okay, we actually got it for 138.50, which is much better than uh, the pop price guide or the pop speedy of value, stash P, or whatever you want to call it. I'm really excited, guys. We got the bank robber Joker. Oh, I wish I could scream right now, but I can't because everyone's sleeping and I'll get in trouble. But guys, yeah, it was a great episode. We got the bank robber Joker. We got uh, Freddy Funko. I'm gonna pick this thing up in the morning uh, when I can talk a little louder and talk a little bit more about the pop. So I will see you guys then. So I just woke up, guys. It is now morning, and I can talk freely. But, um, yeah, so awesome episode, in my opinion. We got the Bank Robber Joker for $138, and then we got the HQ Freddy for, I think, $25 or $26. So I'm super excited about those two. Those should come in this weekend, and I'll unbox them and make a video. So make sure you guys are on the lookout for that video later this week. Also, tomorrow we have a cool unboxing video from Fair Game Toy Store. So make sure you guys are just keeping up to date. Hit the bell notification so you're notified of all the videos. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much going to do it. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys next time.